my mom is making noise. Every time I record, she wants to show up and make noise. Mm. I need the peanut butter. Mm. Mm. You see what I gotta put up with? <laughs> She's going in a home. That's it. Oh, you want the jelly too? Yeah. You want a strawberry or grape? Stop it. You know I don't want to be in your picture or nothing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Pineapple vegans show. <laughs> yeah. Hey, pineapple. Hey guys, it's me, Brittany, aka Pineapple Vegan, and I'm back with another video. So today, you guys, I am making mac and cheese. So I've actually gotten um, a request to do this several times. I just kind of like put it off. I'm not a big fan of mac and cheese. It tastes good, but like I'm not the type of person that could just sit there and eat a bunch of mac and cheese. It's not my favorite dish. But a lot of you guys like mac and cheese, so I'm going to make some. Um, I already did my noodles. These are just the gluten-free noodles because one of my sons has a mild gluten intolerance. So I already cooked them and they're drained and they're still warm. Hopefully they're still hot enough because I really do like for them to be hot. And I already have my glass baking dish. Um, I'm not going to fill this up. I'm only making a little bit. But this is the smallest baking dish I have, so it's not going to be full to the top. But also, what you're going to need is vegan butter, sour cream, the roasted garlic and herb Weber. I think it's Weber, but my husband says Weber, so whatever you guys call it, I'm right. Don't agree with him because then we're not friends anymore. And then you need non-dairy milk. Liquid Gold is the star of the show. For those of you who don't know what Liquid Gold is, it is my vegan coconut-based cheese. Yeah. So yeah, you definitely want to use this for this mac and cheese if you want it to taste like mine. And also I have some Daya pepper jack cheese. Follow your heart mozzarella that I actually, I, I couldn't find the shreds. So what I did was I got a block of the singles and I just basically used my cheese grater and I made it into shreds on my own. I have a little bit of Tony's. This is half a teaspoon. I have one teaspoon of onion powder and one teaspoon of garlic powder inside of here. Half a teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of minced onion, and one teaspoon of dried parsley. Now, these are small amounts because I am making a small batch. You can use however much or however little that you want. I like my stuff really seasoned, so that's gonna be really good for the batch that I am making. So what I'm gonna do is I already put my liquid gold in this bowl, so I'm gonna just heat it through. Okay, so the liquid gold is good and melted and it's super hot. So I'm gonna take my warm noodles and I'm just gonna mix them up a little bit. And a lot of people make a roux for their mac and cheese, and I'm not opposed to that. I've done that several times, but I wanna keep this gluten-free since I have the gluten-free noodles I'm not gonna make a roux you can also melt some of your cheeses in advance if you want as well but I actually like for it to kind of melt in the oven and kind of marry each other you know in its own way plus this is already melted the liquid gold is already melted so it's really up to you at this point you know I have my noodles here I'm just gonna get a big heaping amount of butter and remember, this is a small batch, so you're probably gonna need more than this if you're making it for more than five people. Honestly, this is probably enough for five, maybe even six people. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get my sour cream. And I'm just gonna get a big heaping spoonful of sour cream as well. Two. This is how you get that creamy mac and cheese. When you mix it with the shreds, it's really stringy and cheesy. Nobody wants dry mac and cheese. And I'm just gonna mix that all up real good like. Okay, you see that? That happened in there. And then I'm just gonna add all my spices. All of them. Y'all, when I tell y'all this is so easy, you're gonna be like, what girl? That's it. And I'm gonna take the roasted garlic and herb. And just sprinkle some in there. You don't have to use a bunch if you don't want to. It's really up to you. I'm just gonna mix all that in really good. 
and this is how it looks after I mix that in. I'm going to add in half of my pepper jack, mix that in, and then half of my mozzarella. This is going to be super cheesy. So at that point, this is how it looks, okay? And if your noodles were still hot, then it would actually start melting, but it's fine that it's not because it's going in the oven. And then I'm just going to pour in the liquid gold into the same pot. This is a whole jar of liquid gold. And then I'm just gonna continue to mix that through. Ooh. Super cheesy. So I did spray this with cooking oil. And all I'm gonna do is just transfer all of this into a dish. Oh, it smells good and it's not even done yet. Put it all in there. Oh my gosh, y'all. See that? Do you see that? Okay, so what I'm doing is I don't want to smooth it out completely. I'm going to make so, uh, like a few divots in there because I want it to get in the grooves when I add the extra cheese. So now I'm going to take my remaining cheese and put it on top. So I want it to get all bubbly and melty and have that nice top layer. At this point, I, will, I actually prefer to have like a cheddar cheese that's more yellow because it's just prettier, but it's fine if you don't have any. I'm going to take my remaining moss and put it on top as well. Okay, so at this point, if you are the type of person that likes to put breadcrumbs on top of yours, do that right now. You just sprinkle some on top. As a matter of fact, let me see if I have some. All right, so I did have some and they are gluten free. So I got these from Kroger. This is Kroger brand breadcrumbs and they are gluten free. And I'm just gonna sprinkle some on top, not a whole bunch, just a little bit. So when it, when it bakes, it's all pretty. And, and what I like to do as well is just spray a little bit more of the oil on top to help it brown better. Just like evenly over the top. And this is how it looks before it goes into the oven. And let's put it in the oven. So at this point, your mac and cheese is basically kind of done. What we're trying to do is melt the cheese that's inside and brown the top. So it's going to be in there for about maybe 15 to 20 minutes. I'm going to check on it, and if I need to bake it longer, then I will. But I'll let you guys know how long I ended up doing it. So I'll be right back. All right, you guys, so I let it bake in the oven on 350 for 20 minutes, and then I put the broiler on, and I let it broil for an additional um, 10 minutes. This is how it looks up top. Nicely brown. Smells so good. Um, and obviously, if you want it to be a little darker, you would use yellow cheese. But I use light skinny cheese, so it's okay. All right, let's get into this. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna need y'all to see how this is happening. Super cheesy. Super cheesy, super yummy. Oh my goodness. So cheesy. Oh yes. Oh yes. Time to try it. Girl. Ooh. It's so um, good and cheesy. I don't even like mac and cheese, y'all. Like, not like that, but this, yeah, this is fire. All right, y'all, so this is bomb, first of all. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you make it. Do this way, like I told you, there are different ways that you can make it. Please try this exact way out. And I know we've been sold out, but your girl is about to come through because we are about to be back in stock. You might already be able to order it now by the time you see this video. But go ahead and get your liquid gold. It's still on sale um, right now. I think it's like buy one, get one half off. So you might as well go ahead and get you some and make you some of this mac and cheese. You can also use liquid gold um, I did a hamburger helper video a few videos back. You can use liquid gold instead of Daya, 
for that as well. And I really think that it will pair very well with the um, hamburger helper. So yeah, you guys, I really hope you liked this video. And if you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to be notified whenever I upload videos, click the notification button so that you'll be notified. So you won't miss any videos. And guys, I will do better with being more consistent on here. I just had to find balance because I wasn't expecting y'all to like this that much. I've been selling out a lot. I've been making a lot. But I promise to give you guys more attention because as we all know, this is where it started. So I will not leave y'all. I promise. Thank you so much. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.